What's behind me in the big box is the last column. This was the last piece of structural steel to be removed from the World Trade Center site at the end of the nine month recovery period. It is filled top to bottom with the graffiti of remembrance, missing posters, inscriptions, badges. It will be visible upright again when the museum opens. Initially taking that first step down the ramp and overlooking the first overlook that looks at the slurry wall and looks down at the, the um, the last standing column really kind of took my breath away because the sheer vastness of the space kind of all around takes your breath away. There's no other way to say it. It takes your breath away. These are the stairs that were the last standing remnant of the World Trade Center Plaza, Tobin Plaza. When the museum is open, all visitors will make their final descent to bedrock on either side of the VZ Street stair remnant, either by escalator down or by ceremonial stair. And the stairs are there as a testimony to the uh, survival of people who escaped that morning, hundreds of people who were able to run with their lives. Um, but also, they are the survivor stairs, and all of us now live in a post-9-11 world, and in that sense, we're all survivors of 9-11. hard for me to come down here simply because it's the spot where my brother lost his life. I lost my brother John Katsimatidis on September 11th and um, this is going to be the place that I come to memorialize John and um, I better like it, you know, and so I do. <laughs> and it's not even finished. What I want people who haven't lost a family member to take away from this experience is first and foremost to learn something about one of those beautiful people that passed away that day through the eyes of their family members.